Welcome back to Bogue Models. Today we'll be unboxing this. Airfix 132nd Jaguar E-Type. It's a Series 1 car. Um, this is rated as 8 plus and it's a starter set, which means it comes with a couple of brushes, silver, red, black, tube of polished cement, a sort of gunmetal, a leather brown, and a sort of light tan. On the back you've got some colouring instructions. Um, the kit is nowhere near as sort of uh, uh, precisely sort of uh, moulded as it appears here. There's the colour codes. Let's see what's inside. So we've got the instructions here. This kit, I believe, was first tooled when the E-Type was new. You can see here we've got a tax disc, not really used anymore, but it's an old car. A couple of uh, instrument dials and a number plate. Described by many, including Enzo Ferrari, as the most beautiful car ever made, the Jaguar E-Type was an instant sensation when it was unveiled in 1961. Fitted with either a 3.8 or 4.2 litre straight six, the E-Type was capable of speeds up to 150 miles per hour, matching performance to its stunning looks, becoming a hit both on the road and the racetrack, and proving to be a successful racing car at events such as Le Mans and Goodwood. In order to be competitive, several racing editions were produced, such as the lightweight and low drag versions, but it is this original convertible E-Type that is often regarded as the best looking, with its blend of style and ability. Today the E-Type is often used to symbolise the spirit of swinging 60s after the drab austerity of the 1950s, something which it does with considerable style. Speed 149 miles per hour, length 4.45 metres, width 1.6 metres and a miles per gallon of 17.7. And the instructions haven't really been updated in the sort of 50 years. Got interior with those kind of series one bucket seats. Some suspension detail at the front, but no engine. Radiator, very thin series one wheels, disc brakes. And the rear sort of uh, drive shaft is all kind of one piece, but you've got those suspension bits and uh, wheels to add. Bodywork. Here goes together like so. You've also got door cards, it's the instruments, the undercarriage goes on like so, exhaust pipe, and then you've got the external parts, headlight lenses, bumpers, the optional roof, bumpers at the back. So if we look in here, now as I say, this kit is very old, so there's a lot of flash. For those of you who don't know, flash is when the two metal parts of the tooling meet together, but due to the tooling's age, a little bit of extra plastic seeps through, as you can see here around the seat. You've got the front bumper, sort of the lower lip of the uh, engine cover, it's the sort of rear axle, a little bit of flash on there which needs to be removed. This has all been washed in soapy water as is recommended with Airfix kits. You've got the uh, underside of the bodywork and you've got a sort of moulded section there. Unfortunately some release points right in sort of prominent areas which is a shame. These thin sort of 60s wheels which uh, unfortunately sort of detailed uh, wire wheels there. The rear bumper springs for the back, gear stick, steering wheel, disc brakes for the front. Got door cards which have got some moulded detail but unfortunately also injection point marks. And then we've got the dash which has got some more flash on it. Little bits of the front suspension these sort of spinners for the wheels, radiator there, and these are the headlights, bodywork. Now the mould lines along here are actually part of the chrome trim, so you wouldn't want to remove those. However, where it goes along here, you do want to move, remove these along the back. It's got a little bit of sort of uh, mould imperfections here, which will need to be sanded down and uh, 
yeah, it's a little bit warped. So I'm going to see what I can do, heat up the bodywork to try and fix that. And then we've got some clear parts here. So as you can see, the uh, roof, the convertible roof, is moulded clear, so then you'd want to paint that black. This isn't actually the size of all of the rear windows on the E-Type, so you may want to change that. We've got some indicators, tail lights, the covers for the headlights, and the windscreen here. So no wipers, no wing mirrors on this kit. I will also be changing these wheels for these uh, Scalextric ones. Um, I've already removed a couple of others. You can see that they are quite a bit better and uh, they're also slightly wider so will fit the 1970s uh, style that I'm going for. So yeah, that is a big improvement. Here's one that I built earlier. This is uh, one of the first scale models I ever made. This was entirely brush painted as you can probably see by the incredibly tatty finish. Um, it's still not bad considering, um, a few mistakes, this section here should be red so that it meets uh, the bodywork underneath and uh, there's a bit of damage over time, like the seat coming out and uh, I don't know where the roof is, um, but yeah, uh, this was um, probably under the third maybe, I think the third model I ever built, so yeah. The build videos for this will be up very soon, thanks a lot for watching, please leave a comment down below, like and subscribe, hit the bell icon, and I'll see you soon.